Hello there, I'm John Greasley and welcome to our tutorial on directives within F Sharp. Now, a directive is pretty much like a library of components and objects. Uh, if you've used C Sharp, you may find the using keyword familiar, and this will import various libraries for our disposable for our dispose when writing uh, C sharp applications. If you've never used directives uh, then this tutorial is for you so feel free to uh, watch on. Um, this is our hello world sample application if we uh, execute and build the application we can see we're saying hello world to the user. Now you may notice that the uh, hello world uh, string here is uh, prefixed by quite a lot of namespaces and libraries and methods um, if we wish to keep saying hello world throughout throughout our program if we pass it to say a function or anything like that we'll need to prefix it with system.console every single time if we build any other objects uh, we'll need quite a long path to just say hello world and we can actually manage this a lot easier using directives so uh, as I explained briefly in the hello world tutorial if we uh, have a look inside the system namespace uh, we have the console method here and this is denoted by this little icon here uh, directives and namespaces are denoted by curly braces and system is a namespace and this contains console so uh, if we hover over the uh, system we can see this little pop-up here that says namespace system uh, so if it's a namespace we will be able to open it and this is what a directive is so if we put a comment here, open directives and type this line here, case sensitive so if we open system this tells the rest of our F sharp program that we wish to uh, use anything with inside system at our disposal this will still work if we open the system we're still fully qualifying it with the system namespace all our lines here and it will still compile and run. As you can see we're saying hello world numerous times. Uh, if we open system this leaves this portion here optional. So if we remove this let's remove these from each of our statements you can see we've got no errors appearing or anything because we're opening the system we can then use anything with inside system at our disposal. So if we uh, execute the program we still get the same results if we comment out the use of this uh, directive we may experience a few errors saying the namespace or module console is not defined obviously F sharp doesn't know whether this is a namespace or a module because it's not defined it doesn't know what it is it's just giving you a nice generic er error message here uh, this is because it's inside system and we're not telling it where it is it could be inside a different namespace, it could be inside collections which is another one so F sharp does need to know where this is coming from and to save code, say if we have numerous uh, sorry, functions of information uh, it might be useful to just open your directives here and save yourself prefixing this every time so we can actually open anything that's a namespace uh, if we have a look what's inside system we've got another namespace called collections and this will allow us to use anything with inside system.collections without fully qualifying it for example an array list which is another object which stores lists of information so instead of specifying this every single time we create an array list we can just simply do this as long as we have this directive open at the start so if you're familiar with C Sharp, you might have, may have used using or any other languages have their own uh, 
definitions for opening directives or namespaces. But in F sharp, this is the case. We use the open keyword here, followed by a white space, then the namespace uh, which you wish to open. And do remember that namespaces are denoted by these curly braces here. So that is uh, how to open directives within F sharp. Uh, I'm Sean Greasley. Thank you.